I was exploring our building when I walked into a strange, empty apartment. The walls and ceilings were all painted blue. Even the tiles on the floor were blue. Suddenly, I felt like I couldn't breathe. I tried to run out, but to my horror, I realized that the door had closed behind me and it was locked. I don't even know how long it took my parents to find me. Hi, I'm Piper, and since that day, I've had cyanophobia. Did you know that it's a fear of the color blue? And people who have it can't look at anything blue without freaking out. I don't even own a pair of blue jeans. If I look at the sky without my tinted glasses, I feel like I'm having a heart attack. So imagine how I felt when I got stuck in the middle of the ocean when I agreed to go with my best friend Tori to her private island. That was the worst day ever. Before I start my story, please subscribe to My Story Animated for the craziest stories ever. Are you sure you can't fix the engine, Conan? What kind of genius are you anyway? Stupid? We were a few miles away from the island, and the yacht's engine had suddenly died. Miss, I told you he can't fix it. We'll have to call some mechanics. Right now, I'll arrange the rowboat for you all to get to the mainland. My stomach churned. It was bad enough being in a yacht. I didn't want to be out there on the open water in a tiny boat. Don't worry, Piper. Just keep your glasses on and I'll hold your hand all the way. Tori was the best. Your glasses are so dorky. They match you pretty well. Ace held out his hand to help me off the boat, and I felt my legs turn to jello. He turned to Tori next. What a gentleman. Thank you, babe. She pulled him in for a long, steamy kiss. I turned away, only to see Lucy looking crushed. As soon as we got inside the house and I took my glasses off, Ace suddenly jumped in front of me, grinning. Hey, Piper. Guess the color of my shirt under this jacket. I swear to God, Ace, don't. I looked away when he suddenly unzipped his jacket and laughed his head off. As soon as we'd settled into our rooms, everyone got on their bathing suits and headed straight for the pool. Except for me, of course. And Conan, who probably didn't know how to have fun. Tori and Ace were chasing each other around the pool. Boy... Ace looked good. I felt so bad for feeling jealous of Tori. She'd asked me to help Ace with math lately, and stupid, stupid me. I'd just gone and fallen in love with him, and he only saw me as a weirdo. I wasn't the only one with a love problem, though. Lucy was trying so hard to get Ace's attention. Hey, Ace, I can hold my breath underwater for a really long time. Why don't you time me? When she came back up a few minutes later, almost blue in the face, Tori and Ace were kissing each other. Even though I didn't like her at all, my heart went out to the poor girl. Just then, Lucy started splashing around in the water like she was drowning. Ace, help! Ace started swimming towards her quickly, but someone else had gotten to her first. It was Conan. He emerged from the pool like a hero, carrying Lucy in his strong arms. And she looked furious. Luce, are you okay? What happened? Nothing. I just got a cramp in my leg. I would have been fine. But hey, thanks, Conan, I guess. I thought you screamed for help. So why didn't you come for me, Ace? God, I was feeling embarrassed for her. Could she be any more obvious? Just then, the yacht captain came running to the pool area. He told Tori that the earliest anyone could come fix it was a week. Tori called home for her private helicopter. Geez, my stupid sister Stacy has taken it on a spa retreat. We won't be able to get it for three days. Why is this happening to me? It's probably Conan's fault. He brought bad luck with him. My life suddenly seemed to have turned into something from my favorite channel, My Story Animated. I saw the story of a girl once who got stuck with her crush and his girlfriend in a basement. Who would have thought something like that would ever happen to me? They all came into the house looking bummed out. We were going to miss our own graduation. Everyone started freaking out. I tried to calm them down, so I said, guys, there's nothing we can do but make the most of it. Let's play a game. How about hide and seek? Everyone agreed. Surprisingly, Conan too. We drew straws and it was Tori's turn first to find the rest. She started counting to 100 as we all slipped away looking for our hiding places. 85, 86, 87. She was almost done and I still hadn't found a good place to hide. I quickly ducked into a small broom closet at the bottom of the stairs. I nearly had a heart attack when someone put a hand over my mouth. Shh. 
It's me. You're in my spot. Just be quiet now. Ready or not, here I come. When we heard her footsteps fade away, there was an awkward silence. I'm pretty sure he could hear my heart pounding. Uh, so... Are you afraid of the dark too? No, Ace. I'm not afraid of everything. You know I'm just kidding around with you, right? I wouldn't actually scare you. Well, honestly, my phobia isn't really a laughing matter. He fell quiet. To my shock, I suddenly felt him take my hand. Listen, I'm sorry. I, I won't bug you again. I could feel him pulling me closer. My head was spinning. Was he going to kiss me? Hey, Piper, there's been something I've been meaning to tell you. Just then, the door opened and we jumped apart. It was Tori, and she didn't look happy. Uh, what are you guys doing? Nothing, Tori. I ended up in Ace's hiding place by accident. Did you find the rest? Ace had turned red, and Tori kept looking between the two of us. Oh, I wish I could walk back into the closet and go out the other way, to Narnia or something. She said that she hadn't found the others yet, and I told her we'd help her look. We found Conan pretty quickly. He was hiding under the sheets in his bed, and he was fast asleep. And we all knew where Lucy would be. Somewhere in Ace's room. Let's call it a night, guys. I'm pretty tired. Walk me to my room, babe? Ace followed her, but he turned back to look at me for just a second. As I headed to my room, I couldn't stop thinking about that moment in the closet. What had he wanted to tell me? The next morning, as I was about to head down for breakfast, I heard Ace's voice from his room. Hey guys, has anyone seen my jacket? I can't find it anywhere. Just then, Lucy came out of her room, and boy did she look pissed. I can't find any of my lipsticks. I'm going to look like a freaking ghoul without them. Who took them? Tori and I decided to check our stuff too. She found out that someone had taken all her credit cards. To my horror, when I went through my things, I couldn't find my bottle of anti-anxiety pills anywhere. Who would want a bottle of crazy pills? Hey, don't be mean. Who'd want a bunch of lipsticks? Guys, there's no one here other than us. Who's doing this? We all exchanged glances when we remembered Conan. Just then, we heard the sounds of things being thrown around and ran to Conan's room. He was sitting on the floor looking scary mad. Who took my books? We looked for the missing things, but they seemed to have vanished in thin air. Oh my god, what if this house is haunted? Don't be silly. Of course it's not. But Lucy seemed to be getting really worked up. You know what? This getaway was a bad idea. And this is all your fault, Tori. Suddenly, the always nice Tori seemed to lose her patience. Who forced you, Lucy? We all know why you're really here. I didn't even want you to come. Oh, of course you didn't. You just wanted Ace to yourself, right? Duh, he's my freaking boyfriend. Whatever, Tori. I jumped between them and tried to push them apart before they ripped each other's hair out. Get off me, freak. That's enough. In case everyone has forgotten, it's my birthday today. That's why we're here. Ace gave her a quick hug and wished her a happy birthday. Guys, let's not ruin Tori's birthday, okay? Yeah, let's cut the cake. You'd think we were at a funeral. Everyone looked miserable, but Tori blew out the candles in delight and cut the cake. She picked up a slice and turned to Ace. First one for my babe. Lucy glared at the two of them, grabbed the knife, and took a big piece. Well, here you go, babe. And she shoved the piece in the mouth of a completely unsuspecting Conan. Weirdly enough, he looked really pleased. Uh, I'll just cut myself a piece. Nobody seemed to want to hang out, so we all went to our rooms. I was reading a book when Tori came in, carrying Ace's jacket. She said she'd sneaked into Lucy's room to search around while she wasn't there, and she'd found it under her pillow. She told me to come with her. We had to tell Ace. Reluctantly, I followed her to Ace's room. We got the shock of our lives when we found Lucy in his bed. Tori grabbed Lucy by the feet and dragged her out. Are you insane? First you steal all our things, now you're trying to steal my boyfriend? I didn't steal anything, and I don't think your boyfriend likes you all that much. I found the jacket in your room, and Ace loves me. I guess the ghost in this house put it there because I didn't. And why were you in my room? Why are you in Ace's bed? What are you all doing here? Ace had just stepped out of the shower, and for a couple of seconds, all three of us forgot the fight. Damn, he looked hot. Then, Tori started screaming again about how Lucy had stolen their stuff, and they'd found her in his bed. 
And she said, you didn't love me. Tell her she's crazy. Ace looked strangely nervous. Uh, of course I do, babe. Can we just stop this and go to bed? Just then, Conan walked in. He stood staring at us for a few seconds. Then before we knew it, he seemed to have flown over to the other end of the room, straight at Ace. Hey, what the hell? Get off me, you ape. Isn't one girl enough for you? Do you always have to take them all? Why don't you take them all and get out of my room? I'm so sick of everyone. Tori looked furious and stormed out of the room. Lucy followed her in a huff, and I quickly slipped out too. I couldn't wait to go back home. I'd had enough of all this drama. I woke up the next morning to my worst nightmare. Everything in my room was blue. I screamed and dove under the bed. No, 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 this couldn't be happening. I could feel my chest getting tighter and everything closing in on me. It felt like I was eight again, stuck in that apartment. Suddenly, I felt a hand reach out to me. Piper, are you okay? Let's go and keep your eyes closed. While I sat on the bed with my eyes shut tight, I could hear Ace going around the room. When he told me I could open them, I saw all the blue sheets were gone. I couldn't stop crying. I, I, I need my inhaler. I pointed to the drawer, but when he opened it, it wasn't there. Ace quickly took a brown paper bag and told me to breathe in and out of it. He held me close while I calmed down. Oh my god. Ace, why'd you have to be so nice? Just then, Tori walked in, but before she could say anything, Ace explained that he'd heard my scream and came to see what had happened. Tori looked horrified. I can't believe someone would do that. It's that Lucy, of course. She's always making fun of you. Where is she, by the way? We looked around for Lucy, but she wasn't anywhere in the house. We peeped in Conan's room, and he wasn't there either. When we went downstairs, I suddenly noticed something out of the window. Uh, Tori? Where's your yacht? We all ran out to where it had been docked, and it was nowhere in sight. Suddenly, Ace spotted a note stuck to a tree. Thanks for bringing your genius brother along. He finally managed to fix the engine. I hate all of you, including you, Ace. I hate you for not loving me back. I hope you all rot on that stupid haunted island. Hate, Lucy. Tori was about to blow a fuse. She called home and could hardly explain what had happened because of the weak signal. She threw her phone on the ground in frustration. I'd never seen her so mad. I guess we'll get home tomorrow, Tori. It's okay. Tori tried to calm down and forced a smile. Yes, you're right. We get another day on the island without those two losers. It'll be fun. Tori said her parents had a few boats and jet skis in the shed, so we could have some fun on the water. I was still feeling really shaken about what had happened that morning, so I told her I'd sit it out on the beach. You should join us, Piper. We'll go on the rowboat. Just keep your glasses on and just hold on to me all the way, okay? Promise, you'll be fine. How could I say no to him? Tori also encouraged me, so I decided to go with them. Just as Ace was about to push the boat out into the water, Tori said, Hey babe, can you run back to the house and get my sunscreen? I forgot to put it on and I'll get burnt. Ace ran off to the house and suddenly, Tori snatched the glasses off my face. What are you doing? My boyfriend is in love with you, Piper. And don't even act as if you don't know that. I asked you to help him study and look what you did. I don't know what you're talking about. Please give me my glasses back. He has been planning to break up with me after my birthday. I hoped he'd see on this getaway what a freak you are. I stole everyone's stuff. Messing around with everybody, especially that idiot Lucy, was just an added bonus. And I made your room blue. I stared at her, horrified, as she jumped off the boat and pushed it into the water. It's really you I want to punish, Piper. You stole my boyfriend. And with that, she walked away with the oars while the boat was carried farther away by the waves. I was going to die. I couldn't take this. I closed my eyes and hid my face in my knees. Just then, I heard the sound of a machine, and I barely opened my eyes to see Ace racing towards me on a jet ski. Oh, my knight in shining armor. He stopped next to the boat, and with shaking hands and legs, I somehow made it onto the jet ski behind him. My eyes shut tight. I'm so sorry she did that, Piper. She must have read my text to a friend. I was planning to break up with her because I've kind of fallen for someone else. Who? Open your eyes. I promise, it's not that bad. I did, and holding onto him tight, this was the least afraid I'd felt in a really long time. He turned around and kissed me, and of course I kissed him back. 
I couldn't believe the crazy events of the past few days had led me to Ace. Of course, we're no longer friends with Tori and Lucy. I've enrolled in therapy for my phobia, and I have a long way to go, but I'm slowly making progress. I got a delivery on my doorstep today. I chose roses because they're not blue. That would be my life without you. <laughs> Jeez, he's so lame.